Hey, what's up? This is Antonio Thompson coming to you from Brooklyn, New York. Today I want to talk to you about, you know, three mistakes that marketers make online when it comes to creating uh, online video content, right? Now, now videos are, are very powerful can, and can have a significant impact, you know, in your business. You know, they can uh, lead to, you know, ongoing residual leads and ongoing going residual sales in your business if done correctly, right? And so there are three things that I think, you know, uh, network marketers and marketers you know, kind of mistakes that they make when they're doing uh, videos. And the first mistake is, you know, they don't have a a call to action, you know, in their videos, right? They're not really giving um, the person that's watching the video a clear direction on what to do next. You know, videos are great in terms of branding yourself online and, and putting you out there uh, in the marketplace so that you or your presence, your, your products and services, what you offer, what you sell can be, you know, magnified and multiplied across you know the world almost right so but what happens is when you're shooting a video right you got to be uh, one you know very clear about what you want people to do next right so at the end of your video you need to say something like you know what you want them to do, right? Do you want them to, you know, click into uh, an opt-in form? Do you want them to email you? Do you want them to, you know, like your your video or comment on it? You need to tell them specifically what to do next. Now, right? the second mistake that most marketers make is that they 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 share content that they think is valuable to their audience, um, and there's kind of a disconnect there, right? Because you might think it's valuable to your audience, and your audience might think differently, right? And so what people tend to do is they 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 share videos about you know why you should join my company or why you should buy my product or why you know I this is the best thing since sliced bread right rather than you know really looking at from your prospects eyes and saying okay what are they struggling with what can I help them with and providing a solution to that particular problem and struggle right so look at your videos you want to think about how can I provide the most value to an aud my audience that's going to help them solve a problem and, and, and challenge that they're dealing with, right? So if it's, you know, weight loss, you know, what can I share that's going to help them deal with that weight loss issue? What kind of, you know, value and content information can I give them that's going to help them, let's say, lose weight in the next 30 days? Or what kind of information can I share with my audience that's going to, to help them to get more leads and sales in their business? Not just tell them about a product or service that will, you know, teach them and help them, you know, I want to actually give them some valuable information that's going to allow them to take action on it and actually get some results in their business right away. Now, the third mistake that, um, you know, marketers make online is that, you know, we create videos and we put them on sites that are not evergreen. Now, what does that mean? That means that these videos are being posted on like Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, and they don't have, they have a very short shelf life, right? They, they get posted on your, your Facebook page, your wall or whatever, and it goes to, people see it in their timeline, but in a few seconds, even less than that, you know, that video's buried be beneath other things that are going on on Facebook, so it gets lost, right? And so what you want to do, you want to put that video on a site or a platform where it's actually going to continue to get some engagement and, you know, continue to generate you leads and sales for the long haul. And, you know, you, you can take that Facebook video that you just up uploaded to Facebook or YouTube or uh, Instagram or t or Twitter and, and put that on, like, your blog where it has a, a longer sh shelf life, like a lifetime shelf life. Same thing with, with YouTube, you know, take that video from Facebook that you just did and, and upload it to YouTube. It, it will be there for practically forever and it will be constantly generating you leads, traffic, and sales for your for your business. Um, so those are three mistakes that you know marketers typically make um, in their business. The first one being not having a call to action uh, in their videos. The second one being you know, not providing quality content, meaning their content is basically saying why they should do something rather than solving a problem and a need of their target audience. And the third uh, mistake is that we don't, um, put our videos in places where it's going to get continuous engagement, right? So I hope you got some value out of the short video. And if you did, please like it, share it, and comment on it. If you want to check out this free video I have, uh, it's it's actually uh, of a blues man guitarist and a downsized, you know, corporate sales um, salesman who actually hacked YouTube and found their mojo. Uh, they were able to suck in 14,000 leads and just eight months for free using YouTube. So click the link at the end of this video and it'll take a, a look at this free video. It's about 24 minutes long, but they're going to show you exactly how they got 14,000 leads in eight months. So take care and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.